Welcome back to another Warframe video. How you guys doing today? Hope you're doing great. Um, so I want to bring you guys a Zaw build. Not a Zaw build. A Zaw guide. And um, I got to show you guys something that I thought was really nice. And I think this is honestly my most insane Zaw that I honestly picked up. So I never knew anything about Zaws. I never knew crafting my own Zaw would be like... A difficult thing to do and when you actually start creating you know your own Zaw you're looking for something and at the time when Planes of Eidolon was created I didn't know what to do I didn't know how to build my own Zaw I didn't know how I wanted it or how to you know get it the way the perfectly how you want it and I know some of you guys look for something in a Zaw to make it a Stealthy or a killer weapon, basically, is what I'm trying to say, right? So, here I have the Plague Kerpath. Um, you can get this, um, this uh, Zal from the Plague, the Operation Plague Star. It's an event that has not been out for a while now. So, I don't know when they're going to bring that back, but hopefully they do soon. Next one is the grip, and I'm using the Plague Aquin. Another Plague um, grip, basically. Um, you can also get this from the Plague Operation Plague Star event. And for the, what's it called, Link, I'm using the Varjet Jai. Not sure how to pronounce that, but I'm using that. So... This is a, God, I did not want to pronounce this, but <laughs> every time I look at this word, it, it reminds me of the Raptors, you know, basketball. So that's what I keep thinking of, but Raptors, I'm guessing because the P is silent, so Raptors, but this is the type of weapon, basically just like the Destreza Prime. Is that style of weapon and I, I like it honestly it's really good so looking at this the attack speed is insane because with the Varjet Jai you're taking you're increasing speed and critical chance at the cost of damage and status chance so um, this is really honestly nice that I thought was pretty good I mean attack speed is not really all that I'm not saying the attack speed for this is not all that. It's actually really good, but I'm saying in general, do you really want speed over anything else? Do you want damage over speed or speed over damage? Because every time, I mean, honestly, speed is something that I don't feel like I need. It's mostly just damage. But hey, I think this is still a good link to use. Because we're we're taking critical chance over that's what I'm basically getting at as I want more critical chance and over status chance or damage. I mean I do want damage as well, but this is the cost of it. So all right, plague aquin is you know for the speed and it's a it's basically supposed to be a grip for like swords, machetes, blah 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 that you already know. Um, so yeah. And the, the Plague Kripath has a viral damage. It has its own elemental. And it can basically be used for the Raffers or the Polar Arm. And those are honestly my... Well, Polar Arm is my favorite. But Raffers, I'm not really for sure. But the Destrezza Prime was made. So I can't really complain about the weapon. Or the style or the type of weapon. Not really complaining about it, but honestly, I gotta say, this is honestly really, really amazing. So basically, what I'm, what I would search for is something that has amazing critical chance because status chance. Do you really want to look for status? Some people might not agree with me. Some people will agree with me, but I think critical chance is one of the amazing things you want to look for in a melee weapon. Honestly, that goes for every weapon basically, but. Some weapons don't really turn out to need a critical chance, and some weapons do turn out to need uh, critical chance. And some weapons do turn out to need status, and some weapons don't need status. So, 
you know? You could build it however you want, but I'm just saying critical chance is something you're definitely going to look for in a melee. And everything else looks really nice. Um, it's got amazing slash damage. It's got high puncture. It's got high impact. Not that high, but pretty good impact. And amazing viral damage as well. So that's what I think you should be looking for in a Zal. is something that has amazing critical chance because it's going to do amazing. It's going to be a killer weapon for you. And people are going to want that killer weapon like I just showed you guys right now. So here's my Zaw build. Um, this is my insane Zaw that I was just showing you guys how I built it and everything. I gotta say, I really do love this Zaw. And I never had a Zaw that did so amazing like this one because, I, like I said before, I did not know how to build my own Zaw. I didn't know anything about this until... I really got into the kick guns and building kick guns and learning uh, so much about kick guns. And they're, the kick guns in the Zaw is basically in the same category as building your own weapon. So, I really do enjoy the Zaw. Now, here's my build. I think I got it where I wanted at. I might add another Forma on, but for right now, I think it's pretty good. So... Here's my first build. Of course, we have Prime Reach in here. We have Blood Rush. We have Berserker, Condition Overload, Viral, Virulent, Scourge, Vicious Frost, Weeping Wounds, Organ Shatter. They're basically the go-to mods. All right. If you guys didn't know, Condition Overload, you can now get from the Heart of Demos. Not for sure if everybody knew that. <laughs> Not really for sure, but let's go ahead and take a look at this all. We got level 150 corrupted heavy gunners, 20 of them, and let's go test this out. Now, the only thing I don't like about my Zal is that not only the attack speed is insane, do not get that messed up. It is insane. But what I have to say is it's out of control. It's too, it's, it does not have no control to it. It's really crazy. As you saw, it just did amazing damage. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again. But it's just out of control. I can barely control it when I'm moving it. And it's just, I, I love it, but it's just crazy. It's crazy. It does crazy damage and it just has no really control to it. One more time. But I have to say, I really do love it. It's something that everybody should be looking for in Zaw. And that's what I'm saying. There might be people that might agree with me with the critical chance. And then some people might disagree with me. But I always have been giving you guys what you want in a weapon. And that's the critical chance. You say you want to see red crits in there. Show you guys red crits. Show you guys insane red crits. And I feel like that's where... You might actually agree with me with this. Some people might not. I don't know. Now, I'm going to show you my second build where I'm going to actually create it right now. Without Prime Reach. Because I know some of you guys do not love Prime Reach. So, we're going to make that happen right now. Let's see. What else? What else? Uh, I'm going to add this in there. It's my go-to mod. As always, Sacrificial Steel, 220% critical chance. If you don't want that, you can always take it out for something else, which I'll probably show you in a second. Let's see. Um, what I'm forgetting? I'm forgetting something. Yeah. Where is he? Right here. So, there it is. Same, it's still viral because not only that, but it has its own viral procs to it. I feel like I'm gonna stick to viral because viral is just a such a go to element, amazing go to element. Yeah, wow, <laughs> wow, yes. 
See, that just took him down a whole lot easier. Amazing. And added critical chance, more added critical chance, and it did very well. So, you guys might like the mod. Which I know some of you can't stand sacrifice still, which I don't know why. I, I don't understand. What's so bad about the mod? Oh, he's dead. And you're dead. It, seriously, like, I don't understand what's so bad about this mod. But, I, honestly, I'm not really gonna care. There's a lot of people telling me that, dude, why do you keep using the same mods? Well, they work, right? Don't they? I think they very much do work. So I'm not going to keep switching up everything. Like, I'm listen, I'm bringing you the best thing I can possible. I feel like you guys should enjoy it because it's something that people keep telling me, dude, you're amazing. You're doing everything right. I don't see what the hard, like, why you got to make it so difficult? I, I'm not really understanding why you got to make it so difficult. Like, every time I get feedback from you, some of you, and you just seem so unsatisfied. But I'm hearing from other people, they feel like, they they sound satisfied. But some of you don't, and I don't understand. But I guess that's just people who think they're better than others. Who feel like they can do better than others. I'm just pointing out the obvious. But I'm just going to leave that off. I'm not going to keep talking about it. Because I'm just going to continue doing me. And that's how I do me. Okay? But this is my Saiyan's all. I love it. Crazy. It's got crazy attack speed. It's honestly my first favorite. I actually put in, you know, time into it. And this is my first favorite Zal that I ever use. Ever. Just ever. Besides this one, the Osiris and Wraith and Wrath, I didn't I didn't really build it how I wanted it. But it wasn't that bad of a Zal. It's got sane status. But nah. I'm going back to my insane Zal. <laughs> That's my favorite now. So yeah. There are so many other Zals you can use in a game that are also amazing, I would say, and there are machetes, scythes, pole arms. There's a lot of um, weapons and style of weapons in the game that you guys can use. And what I would do is find the best weapon for you and um, put it together, grab whatever best choice of grip you want to use with that weapon that you are putting together and also put on some critical chance now like i said you can build this however you want but critical chance i feel like that's the way to go when you're trying to build your own saw it's amazing um i feel like it should be that way because it just does so much better damage heavy blade as well Heavy Blade is another type of weapons that turn out to be great. Just like, look at the Grand Prime. That is a beast weapon. And you can turn that to a beast weapon with your Zaw. You can make that happen. However you want it, however you want to put it together. I just feel like Critical Chance is the way to go when you're building your Zaw. It just does so much better than ever and <laughs> than anything. So, um, but that's just how I would do it. Like I said, you guys have your own way, but that's just how I would do it, honestly. I feel like it would make your weapon so much stronger, faster. And it's, it's basically your way of wanting to do it. So, instead of having to play with these other weapons, there's kind of butt. You know? So... When it comes down to a Zaw Riven, I do not love using it. And I did not pick up the Zaw Riven from Teshin. But on the topic of that, if you really are into Zaws, you should have picked up that Zaw Riven. 
from Teshin. Maybe it was like two two weeks ago. I think it was two weeks ago. You should have picked up that Teshin uh, Riven mod for the Teshin rewards for Steel Path. Weekly, every week, you should have picked that up. Um, but yeah, it was 75 Steel Essence, so it was that... It wasn't that expensive. It was pretty cheap to me, but it wasn't that expensive. Um, yeah. I know some of you guys love Riven Mods, so... I don't know how other way you can get a Zal Riven. Uh, I guess that's the only two ways, is Hessian or going to the trade chat. But maybe you can find another way, like... Let's go out in the navigations. No... No, say navigations. <laughs> um, yeah, PS4 is so slow. And I was talking about this to myself. Iron Wake is where you can also probably maybe go through there and pick up a Zal Riven. But I'm not really for sure. So maybe go try that out. It's called the Exodia Force. On status effect, 50% chance to deal 200% weapon damage to enemies within six meters so i feel like this is another way to actually boost damage as you go so let's go try this out i forgot i had this um arcane and i didn't even realize it let's go test this out Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kicking her butt. So that is an arcane I would use for your Zaw. Amazing. I haven't really discovered a lot of other arcanes for your Zaw, so maybe that way. Let's look at the other ones. Let's see. Additional combo count chance. I know people will probably like this one on the finisher kill. 50% chance for 30% life steal for 8 seconds. On ground slam, 50% chance to pull in enemies within 12 meters into melee range. See, that's just basically the... What's it called? At Magnus Anomaly. So I probably not will not use this mod. I mean Arcane because it just Magnus Anomaly is way better. Wasting your time trying to ground slam and when you can pull in enemies through Magnus Anomaly and then start killing them instantly. Like just they're they're down, gone forever. So yeah, that's a waste of Arcane. Honestly, none of these other arcanes seem very good, or seem don't seem good at all. Increases the duration enemies are suspended in the air to force. And man, that's lame. I'm sorry. These are these are lame arcanes. This is the only arcane I feel like people should be using, <laughs> cause like honestly, the other arcanes just sound boring as hell, and they sound stupid. Maybe this one sounds stupid as well. So yeah, um, that is a perfect arcane you should be using for your Zaw. If you want more damage, take that arcane, put it on your weapon, and start destroying people, okay? But I think that's really it I have for you guys. Um, I think I think we're going to test out one more thing. But if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You know you guys can always hit me up. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Love you. And I'll see you in the next video. I think this... I don't think this worked. It says... Did it say weapons, right? No, nah, I think it said just melee weapons. Okay, whatever. Bye.